That leads us then to something called a lookup expression, which is again going to use these Excel spreadsheets. So that lookup is generally going to come from a pick list. So this first one here is probably a pick list. But what I'm going to do is now go out to a spreadsheet. I'm going to go find that value in that spreadsheet. I'm going to go to a different column and return some value into a different item type property. So I can go bring back different information to that. And we get a lot of questions about how does that work and how do I set that up? This is the expression to do that. Lookup.getEntry, and then I have to pass in four parameters to that. So if we look down on the left here at our item type and on the right, our spreadsheet, what do those parameters do? Well, the first parameter I'm passing in is the tab or the worksheet in the spreadsheet file that I'm using. The second parameter is the column in the spreadsheet that I'm going to go to search for the match. The third piece of information I'm passing in is the item type property that I'm going to use to do the match. So I'm going to try to find aluminum sign in this description column. And then the fourth parameter is which piece of data am I returning? Column A or column C or, or which piece of data out of there you want to return. Now, an important part to using this is that it, you have to define where that Excel spreadsheet or spreadsheets, if you have multiples, where those spreadsheets are and which ones are valid to use. And that is done with this configuration variable, item type underscore look. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.